हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ पीयूष सचदेवा एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो इन द सीरीज नमस्ते गूगल क्लाउड वेयर आई विल बी पब्लिशिंग जीसीपी वीडियोस एवरी वीक इन दिस वीडियो आई विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड आइडेंटिटी एंड एक्सेस मैनेजमेंट इन जीसीपी व्हाट आर आई एम रोल्स व्हाट आर आई एम पॉलिसीज सर्विस अकाउंट्स एंड वट आर द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस रिकमेंडेशन बाई जी सी प्लीज वॉच द कम्प्लीट वीडियो एज आई विल बी डूइंग सम नॉलेज चेक्स एट द एंड with some sample exam questions if you are planning for associate cloud engineer certification if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified about all my upcoming videos without further ado let's get into it identity and access management has three important aspects authentication authorization and accounting authentication takes care of who has access to your gcp resources authorization takes care of what level of access the authenticated user has and accounting on which resource the user has access let's talk about authentication a user is referred to as a principal and it could be a google account or cloud identity user a service account a google group or a google workspace domain user let's talk about authorization now certain permissions can be granted to a principal with the help of iam roles a role is nothing but a collection of permissions that determine what operations are allowed on a resource when you grant a role to a principal you grant all the permissions that the role contains so this is how authorization works there are three types of iam roles in gcp basic or primitive roles predefined roles and custom roles let's have a look at each of those basic roles are referred to as primitive roles and these are owner editor viewer and browser it provides a really broad level of permissions and they are not recommended in addition to the basic roles i am provide additional predefined roles that gives granular access to specific google cloud resources and prevent unwanted access to other resources for example if you are using compute.instance admin role it would have certain permissions such as compute.instance list compute.instance get compute.instance delete so when you are using this particular role all the permissions along with it will be inherited and you cannot alter the behavior of this role you cannot add or delete permissions from it right so you have to use it the way it is these type of roles are created and maintained by google and google automatically updates these permissions as necessary such as when google cloud adds a new feature or service then these roles would be updated if you need something even finer grains you use custom roles so these roles are created to tailor permissions to the need of organization when predefined roles does not meet the needs for example if you would want to grant only instance list and get permissions to a specific set of users you create a role something like this and then you just add those two permissions to it and you can use the custom role custom roles cannot be applied at folder level let's talk about i am policies now a policy is nothing but a collection of a role binding and metadata each role binding can include the following fields a principal which we have already seen this could be a member or identity which can be a user account service account a google group or a workspace domain user role binding also has a role which is a named collection of permissions that provide ability to perform certain actions on google cloud resources then it could have a condition which is an optional logic expression that controls when should the access be granted to the principal metadata contains fields such as e tag and version details the important part to remember here is policy applied at the parent level inherited from top to down 
For example, if you want to grant your principal access to all the projects in an organization, then you apply the policy at the organization level and all the projects inside that organization will inherit that policy. Let's see an example of IAM policy. So this policy is with condition, which is also referred to as a conditional policy. Here we have created a rule binding for a principle, which is this over here. We have applied the rule to this particular policy as a security reviewer and we have added the condition as this. So as part of this condition, if we look at the expression over here, if the request time is less than 1st of July 2022, only then this policy would be granted. If a user, if this particular member tries to access the resource as a security reviewer after this date, then the access will be denied. And these are the metadata fields over here, which is ETag and version. Now let's have a look at the service accounts. Application uses service account to make authorized API calls. Service account does not have passwords and that is why they cannot login via browser or cookies. A service account can be attached to a compute engine VM so that application running on that VM can authenticate as the service account. In addition, the service account can be granted IAM rule that let it access resources such as cloud storage. The service account is used as an identity of the application and service accounts role control which resource the application can access. Service account is identified by its email address which is unique to the account. Let's have a look at the IAM best practices. While implementing identity and access management, you should always apply a principle of least privilege, which restrict your users or application to not do more than they are supposed to do. You should always avoid applying roles directly to the users. Instead, you should use IAM groups. You assign the roles to those groups and add users to those groups instead of assigning roles to each user separately. To give someone temporary access to the project, you should create a temporary account in the cloud identity. You should use audit logging, which helps you answer certain questions such as who did what, when and where. So basic or primitive roles are not recommended to be used. So I have logged into my Google Cloud Console. From the left navigation menu, you search for I am an admin, which is over here. I'll click on that. So there are few options available over here. First one is I am. From here, you could set your permissions, roles and everything. So you can check all the principles. So these are the principles. So this one over here, the first one, it's a default compute engine service account, which got created when I created my first compute engine. Then we have Google API service agent service account. And this one is my user account. So there are these type of principles over here. And if I click on roles, so these are the basic roles that we see. Currently, I am the owner of this organization. So I am by default assigned to the owner role. And the two service account that we saw are part of editor role, right? So these were the basic roles. Then the second option is identity and organization. Currently, I don't have any organization set up, so this won't be visible. But over here, you could see the organizational hierarchy. Okay. Then you could use the policy troubleshooter to see if certain user has access to certain roles. Right. You provide their principal email over here, the resource and the permission, right? and you check the API call, it will provide you the details whether that particular principle has access or not. Then we have organization policies. So these are the default organization policies. Then in service account, you would see your compute engine default service account. 
and over here there are the roles so these are all the predefined roles and custom roles will also appear over here right so if you want to create a new role you click on that create role you give it a name let's say custom role test a unique id will be generated for that let's call it custom role hyphen test you select in which launch stage you would want to make this role as available let's just keep it default alpha for now then you assign permissions to it so these are you see 5971 all the permissions that a, a principal could have so you can filter these permission by predefined roles so you select it then select any role let's call it Let's search for compute engine. So I'll select this one compute admin role. If you select that and click OK. So all the permissions that are there as part of compute admin role. So there are 601 permissions. All those would be presented to you and you could select either of those. There are some permissions which says supported or testing that means these are in alpha stage right now and they are not ready to be used for production system and you won't be getting any gcp supports if anything breaks on these services so you should use this cautiously right so let's say i use address create address get address list okay just for the example so I selected these and hit add right so these three permissions are assigned and then hit create when you do that a role would be created now you see the other roles that you see had a different icon because these were predefined role but this role is a custom role and custom roles are donated by this particular icon so if you want to see let me zoom it a little so you see the icon is little different than what we had before let's do All a right. quick knowledge check of what we have learned so far let's suppose you need to provide your virtual machine access to write data in your cloud storage bucket which i am role you should attach to the service account while giving answers to these type of questions, please always use principle of least privilege access. An external auditor wants access to your organization. How should you grant the access? You don't want your IAM roles updated by Google Cloud when a new service is launched. Which type of IAM role you should use? in this particular scenario if you know the answers of these questions let me know in the comment section below or if you have any difficulty understanding any of the topics that we have discussed so far then also feel free to reach out and i will be more than happy to help you out i hope this video was somewhat beneficial to you and you have learned something out of it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your fans colleagues and families i will see you soon with the next video thank you very much for watching